All right guys, so today I'm talking about sectioning. And sectioning is so important, uh, especially in modern day barbering, because I think that in traditional barbering, a lot of people refer to barbers as the people who use clippers. But in modern day barbering, uh, especially with the men's, modern men's hairstyles that we have today, it's so important that you stay up to date and with the times. And with the times right now, you have to also be good with your, with your scissors. And or, in order to be good with your scissors, you have to practice clean and disciplined sectioning. Now sectioning is so important because it's gonna allow you to stay organized and it's gonna allow you to make sure that you don't miss any spots on the head. And just like you're clean with your guidelines and your clipper work, uh, sectioning is gonna help you stay clean with your guidelines for your shear work. I did this video because a lot of people were asking me uh, how to section. And I've been getting this question a lot and I think it's, it's pretty scarce uh, in the barber world still. As popular as it is, uh, I find a lot of people still struggle with sectioning. With sectioning. So, uh, here I have for you uh, a couple of techniques that I like to use and also I think that this will really separate you and your work apart from the barber that who's down the street or the barber who's uh, you know next to you in the barber shop. If you can use your clippers and your scissors and all your tools uh, and master them, I think that's going to make you a very complete barber and allow you to succeed in this industry. I'm going to be trying to use a uh, majority of them are the most common ones, uh, but there are hundreds and thousands of ways to section. Uh, all I really want to do is show you the fundamentals and allow you guys to practice this and to find out for yourself why these sections are so important. Uh, they can be used on multiple hairstyles and you can get started doing this as soon as right now. To follow along with this video, all you need are four simple tools. I'm going to be using my sectioning comb, my spray bottle, a couple of hair clips, and a model or a mannequin. Let's get started. So quick tip for you guys. If you want to section hair and make sure that it stays nice and straight and the hair stays in place, uh, you want to make sure that the hair is wet. Alright, so using my comb, uh, keep in mind that I do have two different sides to this comb. I can use the wider tooth side or I can use the finer tooth side. Uh, depending on the density of the hair or if the hair is curly or straight uh, will definitely be the reason why I choose one side or the other. I just want to show you a quick technique um, for pushing and pulling using uh, using this comb to section. Uh, now just notice how I create a section. Uh, I'm actually standing in a position where I am behind my client or my model and I'm just going to create a center line for you just to show you how I would like to go and section this. Um, I'm actually going to in insert the tip of the comb uh, to where the hair starts here at the front in between the eyebrows just on top of the bridge of the nose. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my index finger, making sure that I'm directly behind uh, the model. I'm going to put my finger onto the end of my comb. And in one swift motion, I am going to pull back into the middle of my chest. Okay. When my finger is completed uh, sectioning, I'm going to place it down on the opposite section and pull away. And what this will do, it will, it will allow the hair to split, creating a clean section line and making sure I go back with my comb and combing away from my section. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that again and I'm going to show you from a different angle going from back to front. I'm actually going to go with my thumb this time. And a uh, quick tip for you for this, uh, make sure that you are connecting the comb to the scalp. You don't want to push too hard and hurt your client, but you want to take your thumb this time and from the middle of your chest, the opposite way, you're going to push straight out in one swift motion making sure that you're connected and instead of your index finger placing down, you're going to place down your thumb. And the, the section that your comb is on, you can comb away from it, exposing the section and as well as the other side combing away from your section is a very important step to, to this. Alright, so I'm going to give you guys what I think is the most popular section used in most haircuts all over the world. Uh, it's called, most commonly called a horseshoe section, also known as a U-shaped section. Uh, and simply what I'm doing is I'm going to be referring to certain points of the head to make sure that I accurately draw this out. And number one thing that I want to say is if you haven't watched the video on head shapes, I recommend you go back to my channel and watch the video on head shapes in order to properly identify the areas on the head that you will be sectioning. So for the horseshoe shape, I'm actually going to be going to the corners of the, of the hairline, just around the temple area, along the parietal ridge, as well as behind creating the shape of a U or a cornered U. 
And basically what I'm doing with this is I'm sectioning the top hair away from the side of the hair just so that I can work on the side of the hair with clipper or with scissor. Big point here is making sure that you comb away from your section, exposing your line and making it very clear, keeping in mind that this is all about organization. So I did two vertical lines on the left and right and one horizontal line in the back. Creating a U shape or a horseshoe shape depending on who you are and what type of lingo that you like to use. Okay, notice I am holding the hair up here and uh, this is where my hair clips will come in. I wanna make sure that all the hair that I combed away is very clear. And I want to make sure that I don't have to continue to hold this hair just so that I could work on the sides. So I'm going to make sure that I comb all around the top section here that I've created into the middle, into the very center. Making sure that there's tension all around. And simply all I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my index and my thumb and twist and twist until I run out of hair to twist. And then I will tuck it all the way to the base, making sure that the hair is all out of place where I'm gonna be using my clippers, which could be on the sides and on the back. I'm gonna take my hair clip in with this last piece that's hanging out. I'm actually just gonna make sure that I get the clip nice and tight to the head placing it where the top won't unravel, exposing all the areas that I can work on using a clipper or scissors, depending on the hairstyle. All right, so what I wanna show you guys is the center profile section. This is a section that I see used very often. I personally like to use this section in order to cut the top and also to create symmetry. Uh, if I'm going to be making a section down the middle, I'm going to recommend that you make it the width of your comb. And if you're using something in the middle, you can always refer back to the middle if you want to create any shape on the sides. I can always refer back to the middle. So this is very good for any haircuts that you want to create any square shapes on top or any, any complete round shape or triangle shape on top depending on how you over direct it. So in order to make this section, I'm going to look at the fixed points on the head. And I'm gonna use the eyebrows as reference. Notice that in between the eyebrows is pretty much the width of the comb. So if I draw one section to the middle of the right eyebrow and then another section to the middle of the left eyebrow, I will make a middle section that is the width of my comb. I'm gonna be using my pulling technique for sectioning. So I'm gonna be getting in with my index, connecting to the scalp making sure that I'm not pressing too hard and in one swift motion, I'm gonna be taking it straight back into my chest, combing away from my section. And on the other side, I'm gonna be doing the exact same thing using the left of the eyebrow as the reference point, uh, getting my comb in there and at the same time, again, one swift motion into my chest, combing away from that section. What I am doing here is I am exposing a center profile parting or a mohawk parting because uh, it's right down the center of the client or model's head. And this is what it looks like everyone. Notice how I combed away from my section and you can clearly see the very center of the head which I can use to cut uh, with short lengths or long lengths. Just the point is, is that I know I can always refer back to the center for a guide. 
And this one I'm going to show you. This section is very popular used for if I'm working with longer length hair uh, overall. And this is the, the whole point of this section is for me to separate my panels. So I have the top as a panel, which I'm going to be going back to that U shape section. And then I'm also going to separate from the ear uh, just to have a right panel and the ear on this side to make a left panel separated from the back to make my fourth panel. Uh, which is going to be right on top of the O-bone all the way up to the crown, which is where the hair growth pattern starts. Quick tip for everybody, I want to make sure you guys understand that you want to put yourself in a place of visibility, meaning that Wherever you are working around the head, make sure you're walking around certain areas in order to make sure that you can see every all the work that you're doing accurately. And so I got my two side sections. I'm going to go ahead and draw the back section here. Go ahead and clip this up. All right, so I'm going to use the ear as a reference point uh, as well as the corner of where the U shape actually ends. So making sure that I'm behind the ear and at the corner of the U shape. I'm going to go straight down from over top directly down to behind the ear. That's going to create for me my panel on the right side. Very important to come away from your section to expose these lines. The cleaner that you work, the more organized you're going to be, and you won't miss any spots, making sure that everything is cut evenly. Repeat on the other side, I'm going to make sure I find the ear, and my end point will end up behind the ear. Going to the corner at the top here, the corner of my U shape, going straight down towards the back of the ear. So here's another point, guys, if you don't feel like this line is long is uh, is straight enough. Feel free to go back and do it again until it is perfect, or as close to perfect as possible. Anyway. So I don't like how that line ended up, so I'm actually going to go ahead and readjust and try this one more time. It really shows the lack of density on mannequin heads. On a model, on a live model though, if you do have access to a live model, a friend, family member, go ahead and practice your sectioning on them. Last section is here, ready in the back now. Uh, this is gonna be a great section if anybody is doing a mullet haircut uh, with a short taper on the side or a shorter hair on the left and right panels uh, because what I'm gonna be able to do is affect the back without affecting the top and the sides. Or if the client has mid-length hair, this is also another way to add some nice layers to it uh, by only affecting a certain panel. super long, but the fact that it's wet is allowing it to stick together. Uh, I'm not going to get as clean of a clip on here, but clean enough for, to, for you to see visually what I was doing. So here's my final product for this one, hope you guys like it. So I know it might seem like sectioning is easy, but I guarantee you if you're doing it for the first time, you're going to struggle with it. And uh, like a lot of things that you're going to be learning on your journey to becoming a master barber or, you know, uh, a great barber, amazing barber, it's going to require a lot of struggle. So just make sure that you're willing to roll with the punches and the best thing to do is to simply just try it. So get in the lab, get in the barber shop, start sectioning, don't be scared of it, attack it head on, and in no time you guys are gonna be great. I'll see you next time.